Hey guys, so Nick and I are getting ready to go to Ohio for this weekend. We are going to Tad and Jim's, um, a little race, race track in Magnolia. Um, D Team Racing is putting on. I should have waited to do this video because I just got done eating. Um, D, sorry. D Team Racing is putting on. Um, no prep mania, I think it's 5.5, so I'm in the car now. I've got Rex with me, and we're just pulling into the driveway. I don't see Nick. He's gotta be around here somewhere. But, I got my hair done today. Looking fancy. And, um, Rex and I are here at Nick's. We're getting ready to leave. So I'm gonna see what Nick needs to do to get finished packed up and help him, I guess. And then we're gonna get on the road. Head out to Ohio. The race is tomorrow, so we've got a little bit of time. Rex is excited because there's dogs here. So I'm gonna let him out. You ready for this grand old surprise? I'm ready for some grand old surprise. Okay, I need let's to go. Pick me up. What? So I need to pick me up. Oh, I thought you said you want me to pick you up. I ain't that bad. Come on, Palsy. That's your surprise in the car. A pillow? No. Oh, my keys are on the... A pizza? Half-eaten pizza? No. My keys are on the table back there. I need them to open up the trunk. I think a Nutella? No. You don't like Nutella, you said. Chop, chop. I think you guys have seen him wear these. You ready? Your cowboy boots? No. Alright. Here's the first thing. A phone case. Because I think yours is falling apart. And new screen protector. Alright. Oh, oh, oh. What else? That's not even my birthday. It's not your birthday. But I feel bad for you. <gasps> Hopefully they fit. Wait. When you give me these, I'll walk over here. You won't believe what I just did. Oh, God. You already buy some. No. Oh. That's gonna be difficult. <laughs> That's gonna take a while. Now you don't have to wear mine. Well, you got real ones. That's okay. I don't own any name brand things. So well, because honestly, you're probably gonna lose them. Or wear them like welding. Or something like that. And they're gonna get destroyed. I finally did it. I finally threw them out. Look at how freaking holed up these are. <laughs> I finally threw them out. Well, now you got new shoes you can wear. You wanna go racing? Come on. Come on, let's go. You gotta get in the bus. Come on. Good boy, come here, hi. Good morning. You ready? <laughs> You're so beautiful. Well, it is early Saturday morning. We got a couple hours of sleep. And Nick's getting ready to back the bus out of the driveway. I usually go and block traffic, so that's what I'm gonna do. We can get on the road. What the heck? This is not usually what happens.
Yeah, let's go. In a quarter mile, your destination will be on the right. Showing up last time we were here? Yeah. What time is it right now? Two o'clock? I don't know. Your destination is on the right. How's it going, guys? Well, guys, we just got two Tad and Jims. Um, D Team Racing is putting on No Prep Mania 5.5. And we're in Magnolia, Ohio. This is one of the tracks that's actually a little bit closer for us from New York. It's about a four hour trip. So the drive wasn't bad. We were able to leave this morning. Um, it's probably like two or three o'clock ish. I think first round starts at seven. Um, so we're going to get like the trailer unloaded and all that. Uh, I was up till probably two thirty, three o'clock in the morning shipping out t-shirts. Um, I think a lot of you guys know Nick was in the hospital for four or five days after we got back from our trip and so there was a bunch of shirts that weren't able to get shipped out um, right away just because he was in the hospital and I wasn't, you know, where the shirts were. So um, I think we got most of those out, um, but once we get the trailer unloaded, I'm going to sit down and relax a little bit. I'm tired and it's hot and hopefully the sun... Um, I think Rex is tormenting a dog. Hopefully the sun goes behind the clouds and it can cool down a little bit. Find Rex, because I think he's tormenting this dog. So Nick is over here uh, changing the fuel pump pulley. We are getting ready to race at Ted and Jim's in Magnolia. D Team Racing is putting on their event, No Prep Mania. 5.5. So. Why did the full, why why does this even need to be changed? Like, what was the original issue? Was this because we had to switch the motor? No, we had uh, this motor came out of the fire. Yeah, but it was well, fine on the third or on the. Yeah, it was fine on the thirty before the thirty got burnt up and burnt to the ground. What about when it was on before this motor was put into it? Well, the pulley just got beat up in the fire. It still looked like one piece, but. My stuff gets really hot and then gets cold and... It warps. Not warp, but like... The, uh... Stuff warps. The, well, yeah, but the guides... The guides for the uh, belt... Because you don't... There's a cog drive setup. A cog drive setup is not a V-belt setup. V-belts need tension on. Top cogs. cog? Yeah, no. Oh. A cog-style belt. Top? No. Oh. Top cog is a regular V-belt with notches on the top of it to deal with RPM. You'll okay. see a lot of people that like spin their motors 8 pulse RPM and they lose belts all the time. It's because they have a regular V-belt and their harmonics stay in the V-belt. So they run like a Daco top cog V-belt. So then you can, the notches up there, let the um, let the belt roll the tighter edges. Because it's popular, like you'll like you'll spin an arc, you'll spin a alternator faster, or try to spin your water pump faster or something like that. But you run a smaller diameter pulley, right? Okay. To change the ratio off the crankshaft. Okay. Follow me? Yeah. And then, so you alter the, what's it called? Um, they try to run the same type of belt, belt, a regular V belt, and the belt can't go around that, go around the turns that fast at that high RPM. So it flings belts all the time. Gotcha. This is a regular cog style belt, which means it has drives on the pulley. Okay. So a V belt, the tension's on the Vs. A cog style belt, the tension's on the teeth. Okay. Of the belt. Oh, okay. okay. Anything else? No. Day one of day one of learning's over. There's your lesson for today. My so lesson folks, for today. Oh no wonder. Okay. So folks, we are actually here. We are. No, Ted and Jim's with Magnolia. It is Saturday, and this is essentially day one of a multi-day trip. Um. We're going to try to race Marion County, uh, MCR Series 2. To my knowledge, we are two in points at that race. 
Um, we made it to the finals in the first event, and we weren't able to race that. That was about a month ago. Um, we had that head gasket issue that uh, um, we weren't able to run Hong, uh, Perry Stanley, in the finals with their uh, really... Uh, He's in first place, isn't he, in points? Yeah, because he, he technically beat us. That's fine. I was just... So... Um, I was clarifying. We're going to see how that all goes. There's like 10 different size freaking... 10 different size freaking things on this. You want to know something? What? When I did Sarah's brakes, um, the bolts that hold the caliper together, I think it was those bolts, I don't know, because we had to get a new caliper for the one side, well they changed the size bolt, like the head on it. It's three different Allen's on this freaking thing. That's ridiculous. I think that's actually because we fixed it, but, mm. after the fire. Rotating this pulley over and over and over, so then we don't cock it. So, so guys, so you'll see in here, okay? There's this is the factory pulley, um, and it's got these rings around it, right? These are friction welded on here. So like one more, one, this is probably like spinning like I don't know, a couple thousand RPM, right? And then they Just put this the ring in there, and it's a friction weld. That's actually how they uh, build uh, turbos too. They the uh, input shaft to the uh, like the turbine and stuff like that is friction welding. So you get one object stationary and one object moving really, really fast and you touch them together and they weld. Well, there's one. You can see the slip on this side. That one fell off. And I... Uh, Wait, what? This one. There's supposed to be another one here. Like, the pulley's built, right? And then this guy gets friction welded onto here and there's supposed to be another one here. Oh. Okay. To guide the cogs, right? Yeah. So the cogs, these are the teeth, and it drives the deal. And then you got a keyway, right? You got it like a, I don't know, eighth inch keyway in there. Okay. Mm hmm. Sixteenth to eighth inch keyway. Then you tighten it up on the shaft, and you tighten it up on the keyway, and then this drives our deal, right? But unfortunately, when you don't have this on here, okay? Well, you don't have the guide on there. Yeah. It is possible. If you have your pump too tight or too loose, or not 100% dead accurate mounted, that your belt can slide off. When your belt slides off, what happens? You lose fuel pressure. You're so smart. So yeah, so we gotta hopefully replace it. How's it going? Good, how about you? Doing all right. Are you the Number buyer? Nine. Well, we just did, go ahead. <laughs> get run over we just did um chip draw the first round and nick's driving tonight but he drew tommy hoskinson who's driving that um falcon they just got that car tommy made it to the finals a couple weeks ago at uh d team racing's event dragway 42 that i raced at so let's go come on So, we'll see. First round starts at 8 o'clock. It's about 7.30 right now. We're going to get the car all finished up. And see how this goes. Nick is the sixth pair right lane. Rex is strangling along behind me. You see how it goes?